today we are going to remove the box off of this truck. Uh, old rusted bolt. I don't know if you've ever taken a box off. It's a challenge. So we've got to take eight of these up and I've sprayed them, let them soak for a couple days, nothing going. I'm going to break my tool. I rattled it with both of them and they're good. But, uh, yeah, just not enough. It's kind of a crappy setup. So, what I'm going to do is show you the quick and adventurous way to do it. I grind the tops off. When I ground that one off that top, it kind of shoots off of there with some pressure, depending on how much tension is on the box. But I'll set you guys up and uh, watch how I get this done. Right there, the death wheel. I like to use a good stainless wheel seems to be make short work of them so I'll set you guys up and uh, you can watch how they pop off so if we look at the one that I did that's kind of what happens I grind it off and let's get to the edge pow away she goes so basically grind that top off you can kind of see the groove i got and well let's make it happen it's kind of an adventure because that thing comes off with some uh momentum if uh, the box is torqued but safety equipment good times All right, that wasn't so bad now that it's done. Got them all ground out. No drama really, the first one popped. But I'm thinking because the truck took a hit in the back, I might have tensioned it up. But yeah, it's you know 15 minutes, no wrenching. And uh, new bolts are easier to deal with than broken tools I find. So yeah, hope that helps out and thanks for watching. Had to get the expensive help. Does the job. People ask why I have a gen pull on the truck, and it is exactly that reason. <laughs> 